Okay, uh, this is one of the 52 blocks that we've taken apart and serviced and reassembled. This is one that had actually taken some significant damage. This is a main sheet block. This attaches the ship to the main boom. And over the years, the rope had actually chased through the swallows or the sides of the block by the ships. So part of what we were doing this time around, besides simply taking them apart, making sure that they were in good operating orders, we were also beefing them back up so that the, uh, the rope wouldn't have an opportunity to chafe the block edges uh, as it passed through there while it's handling the main boom. So this is one of 52. Each of these blocks got between six and eight coats of varnish. Everything was taken apart. Uh, the ships were greased, the bearings were greased, the pins were cleaned and reintroduced, the keepers were put back on. And this is, um, this is what you have to do if you want to keep up with your blocks. This is a $300 block at a minimum, probably originated in Dauphiné in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. And uh, there's a notion that, that was sort of afoot that, well, shouldn't we just buy new ones for $300? But the problem with that is that, well, you still have to keep up with them because uh, any block that's left to its own devices will eventually deteriorate and fail at the wrong moment. There's no good moment for a block to fail, but the wrong moment is where you lose control of a large piece of gear or something very important uh, comes from a loft and goes down to the deck. On these checks, what, what is the way we, we would treat this? Okay, well, the driving factor on whether or not you fill a check or not is generally as a rule of thumb, you don't fill a vertical check, you do fill a horizontal check. There's a refinement of that with a horizontal check. If you don't fill the horizontal check that's on the bottom of the piece, you fill it that it's on top. This is on the bottom of the spar once she's in position. I see. This is all, by the way, a perfectly redone spar that's gotten dusty. Mm -hmm. But this also has eight coats of varnish on it and a fair so because it's on the bottom, it's not going to collect water, so you don't need to... And in fact, you want it to breathe, so you wouldn't uh, try to steal it. Right. The whole point, the whole reason checking occurs is because the exterior part of the wood is drying faster than the interior part of the wood. And so um, there's there's pluses and minuses to filling it. In general, I stay away from filling. I, I believe in staying away from filling the checks. Instead, I go in with a sodium borate and preserve the check. Uh, because the minute you start trying to fill something, if you don't get it completely right, then you create a void pocket and water can form it.